Welcome to The Consider Show, exclusive interviews with entrepreneurs in cannabis and non-related cannabis industries that explores minds of those that are expressing their realities on common social problems and business opportunities that they have experienced in life. Offering solutions to those that tune in to what is being said, that they are helping others guide themselves by sharing the power is within. So sit back and relax and listen. It is in the process, not the event. I am that I am. Some call me Haru. Date February 17, 2016. Consider, expand your cannabis perspective. Another exclusive interview with special guest Patrick King from the Soil King. Welcome to the show, Patrick. Yeah, thanks, family, for having me. Yes, sir. For sure. So, let the audience know a little bit about who you are. I mean, you know, kind of some of the, the, the background, some of your foundation. You got it. I'm, uh, I'm mean, probably started as a kid playing in the backyard. <laughs> Other kids wanted to play with cars and baseball and doing that. And I, this is a, yeah, pictures for me before I could walk playing in strawberry patch. Wow. <laughs> Growing up, I had, a, you know, my own flower gardens, my own. Um, vegetable gardens, it was a thing, it was my passion growing up. Mm, mm. Um, I came, uh, you know, got older, did some, uh, got some trouble, you know, <laughs> went to a little college, did some hard time, back and forth, different things. Was always, uh, started growing, uh, started growing weed at the age of 11 years old. Wow. I first arrest, actually. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I was growing it in the top of a pine tree in my backyard, my neighbor called the top. <laughs> I wasn't growing it. I was smoking. I really liked the plant. That's yes. I love to smoke things underneath that pine tree and all around the backyard. I had a huge vegetable garden, mountain chickens, and you know. It was wow. So, wow. Um, and it just kind of came a, a passion. I grew up becoming a builder, and I'm a developer builder, mm. by trade, mm. general contractor, and I've always had. Um, I've always, I've, I've always had gardens and built soils and, and done my own thing and was into organic before people were ever even talking about sure, organic sure. and organic practices, Interesting. biodynamics. And, and I was uh, living in a little town in Northern California called Cloverdale. I built 67 homes here. I wasn't happy wow. as a builder. It was just something I was successful at doing. I thought it was going to be my future. Okay. And the turn of 08, 09 came in and crushed everybody around me as well as me. I lost 13 lots. Wow. About six houses. But what I did have is I had my own cannabis farm. Mmm. Mmm. Interesting. My own soil at the time and I was living on the other side of the fence in the closet, right? Okay. <laughs> and when it came out or when uh, when the downturn happened, everybody was saying, hey man, you already you already do the soil. You've been doing soil for great. You have, I did it. I used to have a, a 37 foot by 120 foot vegetable garden, mm. uh, and it was a community garden. I harvested it and I took it to the food bank here in my town. That was my thing. Oh wow, cool! That outreach yeah, for sure. Help people, you know. Yes, I sir. Give it all away because I loved it. It was my passion. But on the other side of the fence, I had cannabis growing in it. My <laughs> chicken coop. There was no chickens. It was an indoor facility at the time. Wow. So, uh, but I was, nobody knew that back then. But anyway, so then when the cannabis in Northern California movement really started happening, everybody's saying, man, your soil's awesome. You know, you should try to make a business out of it. Mm. So about for the last decade, it's just been unbelievable. So, yes. You know, I, I finally found a spot in my life where I feel passionate. I feel I fit in. Mm. I don't hide anymore. You know, I'm no like, doubt. Good point. Well, I, have a, I don't give a fuck attitude when it comes to worrying about or worrying about what people think about me. Sure, sure. Great yeah. point. So yeah. There's a, back, there's a little back history of yeah. where I've been. Now I'm the Soil King. I have the Soil King Garden Center. Um, you know, I have a 6,000 square, 6,500 square foot store for yeah. mostly 
outdoor and indoor okay. gardening, but I do a lot of bulk. Okay. Soil yard, I do water tanks, uh, reservoirs, huge greenhouse. Wow, wow. What I do now. Wow. I get up every morning excited about my life. Uh, awesome. Interesting, yeah, interesting. That that kind of brings us to the second question. You, you know, what you you kind of kind of briefly touched on that. Um, how you got started in the cannabis marijuana business? Because I know not being recreational down there, especially in California, how is that actually addressed? You know, and I'm you know when I'm coming from. I mean, we know the medical side of. Yeah. Cannabis is going on there, but then when we're talking like re- recreational, how is that addressed out that way? I mean, I mean, it's so funny. It's such a, it's such a false topic because you and me and everybody else listening, it's, we've been smoking weed since <laughs> we were young, yeah. so it's not something new to us. Uh-huh. It's all new. It's going to be new, and now it's the legal aspect of it. It's, a challenge. it's been a challenge here, you know, because we were the first ones coming out with cannabis laws in 215, right? Sure, sure, sure. Way before but, that. Um, we, you know, we held back and, you know, we didn't get what we wanted. Uh, actually, we didn't want some of the laws that were being uh, approached to us. Mm-hmm. But now, after watching your state, Washington, you know, and um, Colorado, we're learning the wrongs and rights of yes. how you guys have messed it up. Yes. <laughs> right here in California, and I'm proactive in that. Yes, yeah, so sir. Proactive in that. It was back a, it was only five months ago. My little town of 8,500 people in California. Um, they had a, a workshop board meeting. Mm. It was a couple. It was a year and a half ago when I talked about opening a dispensary, and the council had an emergency meeting um, doing a ban. <laughs> oh wow. Any kind of in Cloverdale. Once they heard, I got ripped for that. The men. A few months ago, it was like November, uh, I got asked to go to a workshop, and the workshop, they were coming out with their new ordinance for banning everything. Wow. Or out anything in our town. Wow. And being the expert in the industry, I just let them know, you guys aren't the expert. You're looking at the expert. No doubt. The positive <laughs> for our patients, for our community. And we started going into designing our, our ordinance. Mm. Within mm. a few months, I got ended up with a five out of five vote for for yes. It was five out of five no prior to that. Mm. With cultivation cannabis in my town, or you can have three plants outside um, with no restrictions, no permits. You don't have to go with anything. Anybody can do it. There's wow. Boundaries. You can go next to a church. You know. That's There's pretty no awesome. On it, as long as you have a <laughs> resident, right? Yes, sir. Wow. Going from nothing to something is a huge Ooh. deal. Ooh. You know? and, and so now, and then where we're at right now in our town is we're in, you know, I'm working with one on one with the chief of police who's been very proactive in this. Sure. Officer, the council's been very proactive now. And we're working on commercial licensing mm. in our town. Mm-hmm. Our estimated commercial licensing the city will be given out is in the June, towards the end of June. Okay. Sound and like Alaska. California's. Um, Eight licensing being handed out. So we worked, we worked really hard in a short amount of time. Actually, our little town is ahead of everybody. I mean, it's that awesome. sounds like it. Sounds yeah. like it. I mean, they, they pretty much, that's what's been going on up in Alaska, too. They, they should be, you should be seeing dispensaries up that way opening up around June, too, around that deadline time of this year. Um, because I, I originally yeah. from Alaska, so that was kind of interesting, some of the things that's going on up there. But uh, one of the things, the, the question I have next is, what has been your role in the cannabis industry as far as providing your clients? What are your clients talking about? How are they relating or how are they responding to what you have to offer? I mean, I, I guess, you know, we still got, you know, I'm a hillbilly redneck as well. <laughs> Northern California Emerald Triangle, and there's a lot of us that we just don't want to see legalization, and I understand that. Mm. However, you know, day-to-day business is, you know, times have changed. Yes. There is a backlash of, of, you know, what some people are are, you know, a lot of people aren't for any of it. However, it's, you know, it's going to happen with with them or without them. Yes, sir. <laughs> the black market, you know, they're going to do day-to-day operations as they've done in the past. 
there's still mm-hmm. going to be their way of doing it, but for some of us that want a new approach and want to make this legitimize this business, and you know, regulation is a bad word, but regulation is a, is a needed is a needed word in this industry. Sure, you know, like sure. The medicinal end of it. There's so much bad medicine out there. I my mom's dying of cancer right now. Wow, wow. I got four um, cancer. Mm. Cancer. I moved in with her. I have four kids. I have a wife. My wife is sick. She has a lot of a lot of issues. So um, wow. And not to mention, she was addicted to opiates a few years ago, and cannabis saved our family's life. Okay. Strictly on cannabis. So wow. Yahoo, right? Yes, sir. Right yes, sir. Before for sure. Started, brought my family back together. Now I moved in with my mom. I'm taking care of my mom. My mom's taking high CBD. She doesn't want to do any treatment. She just wants to take her little pain pill. And mm. she that. That's her decision. Mm-hmm. But the, the high CBD that I'm giving her right now. It's uh, helping her with her inflammation and her pain levels, and actually, you know, with her anxiety. Mm. I'm thinking about, you know, the future, which is going to be short. Indeed. And how things are going to happen. For sure. For sure. When I talk about that, I go out to, and buy medicine from my family members, and I'll send them, I send everything out for testing, right? Even I got you. And, <laughs> and say, it was about 20%, but some, I mean, in the last probably six months, it's probably been close to 30%. Of what's claimed is what medicine, the ratios from THC to CBD, the uh, residuals you find from pesticides and herbicides, uh, funguses, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Different things. A 30% of the time, testing comes back, it's not even what it was portrayed and sold out, uh, out of a dispensary. So, wow. going back to reg- the regulation question, it's an important topic. For those reasons, the last thing I want to do is give my wife or my mother something that's not what's said on the phone. Yes, sir. Agree. And you see this, you, I think you posted stuff about it as well. Mm-hmm. About, about, I think there was one in Washington just recently. Yeah, some you know, a- serious issue. Practices. Yes. You know, guys that don't take this real, and they're, they're you know, I, I call it very easy. My slogan is uh, health before wealth. Yes. <laughs> health before health, I don't want nothing to do with you. <laughs> this industry's not for you. In fact, I'll help slam a door on you if that's your mentality. <laughs> it goes health before wealth, then wealth, right? Yes, because sir. Wealth attached to it, so we're going to make money. But if you do it the wrong way, I got nothing for you. You get no Soil King love. Mm, mm. <laughs> for sure. As a business owner, what has been keeping... What, what, how you been focused? How you been, you know, how, what's been keeping you focused? That's because I know it's a lot coming at you day to day, in and out, hour by hour. I mean, because I'm experiencing it myself. So I'm like, what what keeps you driving? What keeps you waking up in the morning? You know. Okay, that's, that's, you probably can relate with what I'm, what I'm going to say. You know, like in the building industry and any other industry, they all are, they're all has been, right? We mm. all, all been, and now they're, uh, the course of the action is manipulated into different ventures into it and how you're going to make money. With this, with the cannabis industry, it's an untapped industry. Yes. We get to not, there's not, you can't go to, you know, I can't really go to uh, a cannabis college and learn a lot of things. I already know in my direction is in a different direction that I've learned. So we're all learning at, at this incredible, fast pace of this industry that hasn't really been learned before. Right? Yes, and yes. Especially the organic side of it. When you talk about the organic, it's, uh, it's, there's no tried and true practices. We're learning all about microbial development. We're learning about uh, mycorrhiza and how it affects the roots and pores. And it's all this stuff. It's, all, it's, it's great because we get to wake up every morning in this industry and we're learning at the same rate as everybody else is if you choose to. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I can we'll tell you. you know? You're right. <laughs> You can relate with that because what you said, we're, all this stuff's coming down the pipeline and everything's changing every day. Yes, and sir. The reason why it's coming so fast at us is because nobody has the fucking answers. Right? No, you're right. You're right. Right? Yeah. You're right. On here. So as a business owner, you know, it's uh, it's awesome. You know, I mean, I, I got a great model for a business. I'm opening a, I have the soil, if you don't mind me plugging myself. No, it's oh, that's the whole point. I mean. Yeah, I own that. <laughs> I also uh, I do I have a video channel 
That's yes. called uh, the YouTube channel. Please subscribe to it. It's called the Soil King. It's 2016 grow videos. Mm. We're going to show you how to grow over 10 pound plants organically this wow. year outdoor. Wow. As well as we have some light depth gardens we're going to be promoting and, and full year round, full year greenhouse gardens as well. So sure. Check into that. And we've already, I think we're on video eight right now. Yeah, I've seen y'all been putting it down over there. Yeah, so and then, you know, I also had a reality show, so I'll come and want to set up a meeting with me next week. So okay. That, that could be pretty, interesting, pretty interesting. Well, you know? Yeah. But I'm opening, uh, I have a company called Organic King, which is going to be a testing facility in our town. Mm. So my cat is not only the cannabis, but all these products that people, that I even sell in my store that we put on our plants. You know, there's uh, there's all kinds of chemical fertilizers that's not healthy for the environment. There's a, there's a lot of big claims that stuff's organic when it really yes. isn't. Yes, yes. You know, we, we just we're experiencing this all the time. And the so with that, I'm gonna, with the, just the, the testing facility for cannabis, I'm going to do a soil evaluation. Mm, mm. Product review. Which okay. I'll go to any store of my store. I'll grab your product off the shelf. If you tell me it's plain input material that can be uh, put on a plant and it, there's no residuals left over and it doesn't affect your health in any way, if you tell me that, I'm going to test your product. No doubt. <laughs> you're telling me that and it fails, I'm going to post a video of it. Yes, sir. And that's what it is, if getting it at passes, a... If it passes, I'm going to use it and you're going to see it in my videos in my garden, right? <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's, that's, it's... How, that's how we need to stay steadfast for our listeners and our peoples out there because if we let the government agencies you know, what, the regulations what's certified and what's not. Yes. You know, it's, it's nobody. Yeah, you're right. You are right. You're on point. You know, that that's clarify a lot of elements within this particular industry. Um, yeah. What some of the pitfalls that you know our listeners or readers should be looking out for, and how can they avoid it? Some of the things you kind of. I mean, you just kind of talked about some of the soil and whatnot. What are some of the pitfalls, you know, some of the listeners here looking for organic? Because I know that organic substances or soils, most of the people are looking, what is the best product, basically? <laughs> what are some of the pitfalls? So the first thing you got to know is that and when you're, if you're a new gardener or if you're a, if you're a veteran gardener, and we're all, all of us are experiencing the new organic methods. We're trying to figure this out. Mm-hmm. There's more than one way to get to the center of a six-year-old Bob. So just yes. because your method or your budget <laughs> method might be working for them, on social media you get a lot of people blasting you, oh, that's not right. You do. It's just, no, I call bullshit on a lot of that. Yes. Because there's a lot of different ways to get to the same result. As long as you clean input uh, ingredients that you're using, you know, then there's different channels and different ways to get there. Mm-hmm. Talking about so soil is important. Um, I have my big root soil. It's called Big Root, B-I-G-R-O-O-T-Z. It was nominated the 2015 Emerald Cup Soil of the Year. Emerald Cup is the, the biggest outdoor garden show in the world. Okay. In North California. Santa Rosa. But I have... Uh, there's 17 different types of fertilizers and um, uh, minerals in it, as well as it's packed with a few different mycorrhizal spores for mm. different applications, not just cannabis, but for um, the mycorrhizal spores will go for some perennials as well as annuals. So I try to touch bases. You can not just grow it. If you want a flower garden, it's awesome as well. You can plant from clones right in it or seeds and then you grow right from it it's, you know it's got 60 days plus oh wow so we ran we ran 20 lights indoor without any veg and then flipped it right into uh, right into the bloom and started adding soft dress bloom formulas right okay green trees Mr. B green trees is one that I love for fertilizer um and yeah so and then there's been lots of write-ups there's the sun grow that's been write-ups where I've had all my competitors I'm not allowed to name. Yes. <laughs> the ones you're using are the same ones that are pissed off the soil king's coming with a superior product. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, they're doing, they did herb testing, they've done uh, uh, flowers, herbs, and vegetables mm. testing, and we did, and we had a whole other cannabis testing up in Humboldt area. 
but but with, with the herbs, I won I won first place at all my competitors. Wow. Flowers and all the vegetable gardening. That's pretty uh, great. And that. as well as the, in the cannabis. Mm. Up north. Mm. Well, For sure. Legit, man. Legit. Yes, sir. And and you've been showing it. You've been showing it. I've been following your little track record too, as well. You know. We got a thousand. And we got the 2015. But here's where I'm, I'm in registration. Anytime I'm waiting for my registration to come back with the state of California, so I can actually put it in one and a half cubic foot bags. It's been 14 months process. Oh wow. Through the state so far. Wow. Wow. Up there, we should be we should be shipping it out. I have all the major distributors all across the United States have been asking for it. So Interesting. you're going to see it all everywhere. We're launching. In Alaska and uh, Hawaii this year. Okay, yeah, and there are some great markets. I know Alaska is a great market, huge. Alaska is a great. I got yeah. a lot of contacts up there. Okay, Alaska, too. okay. Do a cannabis show up there. It's it's needed. <laughs> Let me say it's needed. It's needed. It's definitely needed up there. Um, so right what? now we ship bulk by the yard, and then I have I'm able to ship totes, which are like mm. one yard and two yard totes. Okay. Totes. We could ship those. You know, pretty much anywhere, except for trucking, you know, if you're going to Colorado or something like that. So we're working on that. For, for sure. Stuff. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time, yeah. You know. You got to get it right. Exactly. So what has I been... I'm not the guy that needs 10 different products out there. No, you don't. You don't. For outdoor, indoor, and greenhouse. Products. Yes, you don't. Just as long as you got so your I'm, strategy. You know, that is designed by growers for growers. I mean, I'm an old school been growing for years and years and years, you know, I feel you. What has been the biggest mistake you made getting started in this business? You think? Well, I thought it was getting arrested. <laughs> but it wasn't. That would end up becoming a blessing. Wow. Then, it exposed me for people that I know. I got pulled over with uh, 12 pounds of high CBD um, pot. Mm. For, uh, it was, I grew it in another county for my wife and um, for her medicine, and I got pulled over. Wow. <laughs> I thought it was going to shut me down, and, you know, I was in all the papers around here because, you know, if you're a, somewhat of a high-profile guy, they try to come at you. <laughs> yes, sir. The, the approach that I took about is I didn't have to, you know, I, and I got the car charges dropped and everything. Oh, wow. So it's not that big of a deal. I have, uh, I have, I use, down here in Alaska, the number one Alaskan attorney, and he's from Alaska, but he's down here as, uh, Ben Adams. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. A friend of mine, his number down here, if anybody needs it in NorCal, anytime, it's easy. 707 <laughs> Yeah, matter of fact, we'll be doing another follow-up with him here in the next few days, a few weeks yeah. or so. He's, a, he's not only a great friend of mine, he represented me, he did an awesome job for me, but the downfall was going back to the subject. Is it, was, it, was, it was like a monkey off my back. You know? Sure, was, sure. So, I, here I am. Well, now, now I'm exposed. Well, you know what? Let's take this on. This is medicine. This is where we're at. Mm-hmm. It's helping my wife. My kids are saying to my wife, we got mom back. Dad. Yeah, we for got, sure. We got mom back. How did, yeah. how did it happen? Well, I tell you what. We subsidized uh, cannabis. And it was a lot of cannabis to get in her body to get her kicking uh, the opiates. Yes. Yes. Awesome. And it, now she's opiate free. And now she did she has a bunch of medical issues in her stomach, she has all kinds of stuff. But uh, you know, the doctors they just want to fill you up and fill you up. Yes, you up. that's their and job. <laughs> so he was able to put me on a platform to be able to expose the pharmaceutical industry as much as I can. Oh, I got you. So I got you. That, the cannabis and the value to patients of medicinal marijuana. And yeah. I love this industry. Yeah, I, love, I love my life because of that. You know? No doubt, no doubt. That brings us to the next question. Where are you finding your resources? Magazines, blogs, you know, where are you finding, you know, uh, via online sources, whatever the case may be, where are you finding your particular sources? I mean, when you're saying sources, for what kind of sources? Just as far as uh, soil soil ingredients, um, oh, yeah. the, so the research. Um, you know, I go through all over. I got my mixes, I got peat coming out of Canada. I have... Um, uh, cocoa, core coming from other places. I mean, mm. I mean, my resources is everywhere from 
my materials, and it takes a lot, you know. I mean, I just went to the World Ag Show. I'm looking for one product. Only one product that I can't find. And that's okay. Organic dairy crap. Wow. It's not, even organic dairy, dairy poop is full of all kinds of contaminants from you know, the medicines, the sure. antibiotics, and everything else. So, when you, the best way if you're... I'll just give you, for not to run, I don't know how much time we've got, but kind of the theory behind it is if you look out of a cow's butt now and this cow takes a, a cow shit out in the field and you walk out there, even if it's an organic field, it's cow fed, right? Yes. It's normal. Most of the time they call it organic and GMO feed they're feeding off of. But if you grab that cow patty and break it open, you'll see no activity, no mushroom. You'll see no... Uh, <laughs> see no uh, dung beetles running around, no worms in it anymore, and it's contaminated. Yes, for sure. So you get all these school yards, the competitors, that are grabbing all this stuff up and they're trying to make blends with it, when they don't really know it, <laughs> they're adding diseases to our root zone, they're bad pathogens they're adding, mm -hmm. no foul in anything other than you get some nitrogen out of it, but there's no beneficial coming out of it. So, mm. I've really been searching really hard for a product and I just found one. I got a biodynamic... Uh, compost I'm going to be making next. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's fierce, man. It's, it's exactly it's it. I mean, it is, there's nothing, it's not going to be anything like it. Yeah, and, and you, whatsoever. yeah, and that, that, that kind of brings us within this particular, you kind of distinguish yourself from your competitors. I mean, I heard a lot of that within the particular interview so far. Um, and some of the attributes that's been contributing to your success, we kind of heard some of those things. If they want to, and here's another plug for you, if they want to get, you know, where could they find your services? You know, how could they get in touch with you? Vice versa. I mean, you spit it before, but yeah. website. Um, so we got claims are just, you know, Big Roots is Clean Green certified. And there's, we're working on four other certifications. Okay. It's clean. Um, and then you can find me, you can go to my website, which is www.thesoilking.com. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my store number is 707-894-3500. And then I'm blasting social media um, under The Soil King on, so on Instagram, uh, The Soil King on Facebook, Patrick King on Facebook. I feel um, and then the YouTube channel, if you guys, I'm asking all my people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's yes, sir. Uh, the Soil King YouTube channel. And you can look up scroll videos, Soil King, The, so the Soil King, T-H-E-S-O-I-L-K-I-N-G. There's another Soil King out there, too. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, just to be clarified. Yeah, be clarified. So what is a special offer you can make for our reader? Only one real Soil King. Yes. <laughs> What is a special offer you can make for our listeners today, as far as that consider here, I mean, listeners and readers? I mean, if you guys, you guys are calling up and you say you're from uh, my homie right here, and you email me, or you go to the website, or you call the store, you know, we'll, we'll hook you up. We'll hook you up with some, uh, some t-shirts or stickers, or we'll figure out something like that if, wow. if you order something from us, plus we can give you a discount. All right. Okay. I wasn't really pressed on that, but I'm good at taking care of my people. No doubt. I see that. I see that a lot with you. Would there be anything you would like to add to this interview I haven't asked you? Yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about community, right? Okay. It's a passion to me. I started a small farmers association, or a small uh, junior farmers group, right? Sure. We do giant pumpkins here in Cloverdale. Right at my garden center every year, I go out, I go out and um, get all the kids houses and we help them with understanding nutrients we help them with understanding um, how to grow growing methods organically garden methods so and then they come over here and we help them grow their pumpkins and then we have a way off competition for them we have a tomato competition we help mm. them grow vegetables um, so we're real commu community oriented I'm on the I'm a Lion Club member as well as I was and I just stepped down from the Boys and Girls Club okay so, that's community, community, community is what I want to add. You yeah. know, four kids, I got a passion for my community. No doubt. Yeah, you don't hear that too often either. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. But it's it's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you for your time. You know, just yeah. sit down and really get to 
chop it up with you a little bit and, you know, let people yeah. know what you actually have to offer, you know. Yeah, I mean, you can see well, our website will have a lot more pictures coming up. We were just working on that this morning as well. But, I mean, we got we got all kinds. Always call. You're going to find me on social media. Ask me a question, you know, instant messages. Sure. Whatever. If you guys have questions, I have answers. I'm also a sponge. There's other answers to your questions. As sure. Well, you somebody else that might be different than mine. But, you know, I mean, I want to hear your input as well. I yes. Want you to teach me as much as I can teach you. Yes, sir. Great point. Well, and that will be the conclusion. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate your time again, once again, and I thank you for this. Brother, I appreciate your time. So as we conclude, Consider wants to thank you for your time and support. For more information, tune in to www.considergroup.com. Facebook, Consider Group. Twitter, Consider Group. Instagram. Consider group. It's all how we connect. Networking within a network.